pickle here. And today I'm going to be giving you a quick like rapid fire in a nutshell of the Radar Scope Pro Tier 2 and Pro Tier 1 features. I actually just bought the Pro Tier 2 like last week and for the longest time I wanted to see what it actually had in store. And I, it, there's like no videos on the internet really about Pro Tier 2. So I kind of just wanted to make this quick video to kind of show you and educate you and maybe help you make a more informed decision if Pro Tier 2 is right for you or not. So the first major thing with Pro Tier 2 is that you can see is we have the now, we now have a satellite map associated with this. So it kind of looks like Google Earth. Uh, if I zoom into like Norman over here, you can see obviously we have all the houses, you know, everything like that, which is pretty cool. And we also have the more detailed road layer map network, which is pretty nice. So especially if you're chasing out like in a city or something, you don't have to have Google Maps pulled up next to you. Uh, this is actually provided through Mapbox. So it's, it's pretty good actually, and you can see all the rows, and it's all, I think it's all pre-downloaded as well. So if you don't have a connection um, when you're out in the field, uh, not to worry, because it's all right here, which is pretty nice. The next big thing that we have is the, uh, we have the convective outlook. So right now I have the categorical day one outlook pulled up, um, and you can select different outlooks, uh, as well as we have tornado, hail, wind, fire, excessive rain, which is pretty cool. And we can also select day one, day two, day three outlooks in the settings. But right here, I just have the categorical day one outlook pulled up. And you can see we have an enhanced risk in Missouri, Iowa, then slight, and then marginal, and then thunderstorm. You know, you can find all this, of course, on the SPC website. You know, is it really worth $100 for this feature specifically? I don't think so. But it's nice to have it internally. Uh, you know, and it's all, it's, all, it's all on the app. So I'll, make it, I'll leave it up to you if you think it's worth it or not. Then, of course, we also have mesoscale discussions over here in this blue box. Um, I'm going to go over here to this. If I click discussions right here and I click open, you can see over here we have mesoscale pre precipitation discussion. Then we have a mesoscale convective discussion. And you can kind of view these by clicking the arrow right here. And this will give you kind of the whole read up on it, which is pretty nice. Now, the biggest kind of addition with Pro Tier 2 that I have used the most, I would say, is the <clears throat> in house uh, soundings that we get. So if I go over here and I click soundings, uh, you can see I can select from any radar location that I want. Uh, if I, if, let's just say I went and did uh, I don't know, Grand Junction. Uh, you can see that we have our T-skew graph here. We have our HODA graph down here. Uh, we get our CAPE levels. We can go mixed layer, most unstable CAPE. Um, and it actually highlights it on the T-skew, which is pretty nice. Uh, we also have our the lapse rates. Uh, and you can also select what time frame you want. So right now, currently, we only have the 0Z balloon and the 12Z balloon. But we can also go back in time as well and look back and say, how was it on July 1st of 2024? Unfortunately, I don't think there's any data provided. Oh, there we go. Six seconds to load in. But here it is July 1st of 2024. Here's our T-skew and hodograph. So it's pretty nice. We have a lot of this kind of historical data all in-house. And I've used this quite often. I know I could also probably access this once again on like pivotalweather.com. Uh, they have a lot of these for free, but you know, again, it's nice to have it all internally. So then our next kind of big uh, thing that we have with Rarisco Pro Tier 2 is that we also have access to all of our satellites. So I can now access like the GOES-19 satellite. I can do this full disc one over here, and this will pull a bunch of different viewings so I have the four panels pulled up. Um, but here we are. And actually, I think right now, is, this is a good time to show you because we have a hurricane. Yep, here's the hurricane over here. So we get a full play out with the hurricane. And because I have Pro Tier 2, I also have access to 60 frames of this. Now, this might take a second to load. This is a lot to load in, but let's see how it looks. This is actually pretty cool to have. A pretty cool example day. So here we go. It's now kind of playing. Here's the full hurricane. I forget what they call it, actually, but it's pretty cool to have that. Um, I'm going to go back over here now and continue on with the review. We also have our composites. Uh, so we get the full uh, composite of... The, all the radars across the country, which is pretty nice. So you can see everything. Uh, you don't have to just have a single radar uh, site selected as well, which is kind of nice to have. Um, and then I think if we keep going through here, I'm just kind of trying to think of all the things with Pro Tier 2. We also have the hail contours. Um, so if I zoom in, let me actually select the radar site so you can see it. Radars, I'll go. You're not going to see it with this one, actually, because there's, there's nothing going on. I go over here with the KDMX. Um, here we are. So I'll show you real quick with this. You can see the uh, hail size. I'll go to hail probability. That one shows up a little better with this storm. Uh, let's see right here. So th these contours kind of like a topo map. Uh, you can see where like most likely the hail fell. 
and then we can also access like the hail size. Uh, you can see very small hail associated with this storm, so not much to really talk about. And then we have the azithromal shear uh, lastly, and that there actually is one little instance of it right here. So Prototype Studio you know, has a lot of decent features. Um, actually, there's one more feature that I kind of just uh, skipped over, and that is that you have access to the next rat level two data as well. I don't really see a ton of utility for this, especially because it takes a long time to load. Right now I have a fast connection, so it's loading pretty fast, but you can even see here, it's still accessing old radar data at 4.44 PM. And when you're out in the field chasing a tornado, you want the most accurate and up-to-date uh, data. But you know you do have all the available tilts with this, so I can get, go up to the tilt 23. Not that tilt 23 really serves much of a purpose to me, but you know tilt two, tilt three, maybe you go to like tilt seven, take a look at the different uh, layers of the storm, which is which is pretty nice. I just don't really see much use for it if you're out chasing because you really want that fast radar date, data. So that's that's just for the most part. Um, radar scope Pro Tier Two with Pro Tier One, you get like obviously of course you get the lightning data. Uh, you get the multi-panel display like I have here with the four panels. Uh, if, it's, if you're using mobile, it's only two. Um, you get access to statements, watches, warnings um, with Pro Tier 1. I think actually warnings are included, uh, but watches and statements come in with Pro Tier uh, 1. So that's kind of it uh, for the most part. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you, if, I th if you think I missed anything, please just give me a comment down below. Uh, make sure you like this video, and hopefully I'll be able to get on the field and chase some storms soon as well. So... Have a good one, guys, and hopefully you enjoyed this video.